In Pit Lane is proudly brought to you by Dino Dynamics, your leaders in premium performance. And with thanks to the All Seasons Phillip Island Resort. Welcome to On the Road in Pit Lane's weekly online roundup of the Australian and international automotive news. Well, we'll start off with some positive news on the local front with news that Holden has signed a historic agreement with Shanghai General Motors and the Pan Asia Technical Automotive Centre to develop new vehicles for the growing Chinese market. The new venture provides automotive engineering services including design, development, testing and validation of components and vehicles to GM and its affiliates in China. The agreement will see a Holden team drive the development of at least two new vehicles for the world's largest car market. The Holden designers and engineers working on the program will be based right here in Holden's Technical Centre in Port Melbourne. The team will develop the new vehicles which will be underpinned by GM Global platforms and specially tailored for the Chinese market. On a less positive note, the news that Toyota Australia have sacked 350 workers from their Altona plant here in Melbourne. The company claims that the downsizing is necessary due to current market conditions that include the high Australian dollar. <coughs> Toyota Australia President and CEO Max, Max Yasuda told the media that it was unfortunate that the company had to take this action. Local unions are, however, furious at the way the sackings were handled. AMWU organiser Lee Diem said that the way the company had treated its staff was, quote, absolutely disgusting. Well, the sackings came just one day before Toyota unveiled their new mid-sized car, the Orion. The Orion's powered by a 3.5-litre quad cam V6, and according to the company, it's lighter, more powerful, cleaner, and more economical than its predecessor. The car will be the most powerful model produced by the company's local plant, with an output of 200 kilowatts at 6,200 RPM. The new car's larger than the previous model, with more interior room and improved handling. The car is expected to retail at about the $50,000 mark. Well, according to a new American study, owners of all electric vehicles may save as much as $1,200 a year compared with operating a new petrol-powered compact car. With petrol in the States at a whopping $3.50 a gallon, that's only about 93 cents a litre, drivers who plug cars into electrical outlets would save between $750 and $1,200 a year, according to the Union of Concerned Scientists. The scientists who weren't apparently concerned enough to bother with trivialities like, say, the enormous purchase price premium in buying an all-electric car, said that knowing how much one can save by using electricity is an important factor for consumers. But using the study's own figures, it would mean that the average EV owner would need to own his or her car for well over 10 years just to get even with the costs of an average petrol-powered compact. Of course, the comparison with diesel-fueled cars would be even worse. And from the Only in Australia file, an ad that shows a car speeding through a car park has been banned for supposedly glamorising dangerous driving. The ad for Suzuki's Swift model shows a young couple driving through a car park with sprinklers going off behind them. The Australian Ad Standards Bureau said the ad promoted speeding by using footage which had been sped up in some scenes and with images of the driver pressing his foot on the accelerator and a rapidly increasing speedometer. Yes, they actually pay these people. And with your money too. And that's on the road for the week ending Tuesday, April 17th, 2012. If you have any news or products or services for review, why don't you contact us here at the show at inpitlane.com. But until next week, thanks for joining us and bye for now. If you're looking for a great place to stay for all the big events at Phillip Island, a family getaway, or just to get away from your family, then head to the All Seasons Phillip Island Resort. Have a great meal in the Numbers Restaurant and Bar, wood-fired pizzeria, play tennis, work out in the gym, or just relax by the pool. The All Seasons Phillip Island Resort is only three kilometres from the world-famous Grand Prix circuit, and it's a great place to stay whether you're a racer, official, or fan. The All Seasons Phillip Island Resort, proud supporters of local motorsport and in pit lane.